my friends today we will build rc 2.0 before we get started let's list the materials needed the materials required are 3 mm of chloroplast super glue 743 paper cutter 3 mm of plywood spring steel barbecue stick ice cream stick gum tape rubber band glue stick gun let us start the construction with fuselage Cut the fuselage as shown per the given dimension. Use scale to get straight cuts. Now press the internal lines in the fuselage as shown. Press the line with the help of pencil and bend it. Take a motor mount, make the position to make a slot on the fuselage. Mark with the pencil and cut the slots. Use Super Glue 743 to stick the motor mount on the fuselage. Now stick the rear side of the fuselage sides wall to the center wall. Now let us make the internal structure to the fuselage.
stick the internal supporting structure with the help of glue stick make sure the fluid direction are in opposite side stick the same on the opposite wall Measure and mark the bulkheads for the fuselage. Stick the two of the bulkheads together using glue stick. Here also make sure the fluid direction are in opposite side. Cut the slot for wiring as shown. the bulkheads inside the fuselage and stick it Measure the top length and mark it on the chloroplast sheet. Cut the shape as per the given dimensions. Now 
God for the servos. After marking, cut out the slots with the help of cutter. Now insert the servo inside the slot. Check whether the servo is fitting properly. Now use super glue to fix the servo position. Now connect the servo wire to extension cable. Stick the top cover on the rear side of the fuselage. After completion of fuselage, let's start with construction of wing. Make the wing dimension layout on the chloroplast sheet as shown in the next figure. Cut the extra part and bend the winglets as shown. Make 4 strips of 2 cm on a chloroplast sheet as shown.
together with the help of super glue. Apply the super glue to stick the wing spar. Now take 4 ice cream sticks to prepare dihedral. the dihedral sticks to give a dihedral angle to the winglets. Repeat the same for other side. Hold from the center and check the wing shape before gluing it. Press on the wing to fix it properly. Also, apply super glue inside the wing. Stick the dihedral ice cream stick to the winglets.
marking on the ailerons and cut the extra sheet. the center line on the wing. Now referring to the center line, make two lines on both sides of the wing with same distance as shown. Cut a single flute to make an aileron as shown. After cutting, make sure the aileron is moving freely. Control a horn on the line as shown and cut the slot to fix it. the same on other side. Now let's place servos and connect the linkages. the same on the other side.
let's start the tail fabrication. Draw the tail dimensions as shown in the figure. Cut the vertical stabilizer as per the dimensions. Now cut the horizontal stabilizer as per the dimensions. Mark the dimensions for elevator. Cut the top layer of the elevator. Remove the extra chloroplast lining. Cut the slots to assemble the tail on the fuselage. the horizontal stabilizer is parallel to the ground. The distance from the tail to ground should be same on both sides. Now apply the super glue and stick the tail part. Measure the distance as per the V-tail size and cut it. Insert V-tail and use barbecue sticks to give strength. Measure the distance from the fuselage to servo and mark a line. Insert the control horns as shown and stick it.
measure the distance between circle horns and control horns and prepare the linkages. Measure canopy cover and cut it out. Fix it temporarily on the fuselage with the help of tape. Electronics Integration Now let's connect all the electronics in aircraft. The electronics required are Brussels DC motor, a pair of propeller, ESC, battery, a transmitter and a receiver. Let's start with wing servo connection. Connect the board servo to the receiver. Let's connect ESC to the motor. Connect the three wires of ESC to the three wires of motors. After that, connect the ESC to the receiver. Now, place the receiver inside and paste it with gum tape. Now let us mount the wing with the help of rubber bands. Fix the rubber bands to the fuselage as shown in the video. After that, connect the battery and paste it inside with the help of tape. Test all the control surface and motor, then let's go for the flight test. <laughs> 